Hello guys, uh, welcome to another Python tutorial. In our last tutorial, uh, uh, we loaded an image from this uh, website and then we converted and we read the image using read function and converted that into a gray. Uh, we printed out the image uh, type and image size uh, and we also cropped the image uh, then we displayed the image using uh, matplotlib uh, library. So in this video tutorial, we're going to see a bit more about the same uh, uh, image uh, manipulation. So let's uh, get right into it. So I'll comment. Uh, so this is just a continuation of the code from the previous video. Uh, I'll comment this one. Then uh, I have till image two, so image two. Let's go back to the value. What it was? Actually, let's go fifty and seventy. So I'm going to define a new image. So just define new image by typing any name that you want for the image, and then. Uh, uh, so this time we are going to like try to resize the image. So we are going to use a resize function. Resize on the image that you want to resize uh, mg2 uh, mg2 comma the size that you want to resize to 30 comma 30 comma the type of uh, image manipulation that you want to do. So you specify the mode and e a r e s t so you could look it up exactly what this means for the api documentation that's uh, i mean that's given in the sk image website uh, you can google it and it will take you to there so first uh, we got we de declared uh, an image 3 which is the resize version of uh, this image and we are going to use a mode called nearest uh, and then let's try to display the resized image so copy you are going to use the same matplotlib function to like display the image so this will be image 3 um, color mapping will be gray so save this and press F5 Oh, I forgot plt dot show. I said show. So this thing is like resize version of the image. It's sort of like compressed. So voltage. Okay, they, they, they have renamed this one, so I'll just uh, rename that to ETGH. So I should not be able to execute this. Um, yes. Okay, I must have the PLT function to show this. If not, I must. I'm just wondering how this, this image shows here. So this is the function that shows, let's say, you take this off, and I thought, like, I forgot this one, so it won't be showing the image. So if you take that off, it's not going to show the image, so close it up. Okay, so I'll also get rid of this one. And then open this up and then execute it. So it should actually show the resized image. So the, the one that we saw was uh, the actual image, IMG from the website itself. So this is the actual resized image. I, I am three that we define over there. Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, print out the size of the image. So we change the size, so we just go ahead and check whether it's actually the tick was thirty. So I am G uh, three dot size or sorry shape executed. 
Yes, you got the shape that you have defined over here. So if you change, it's going to change accordingly. So we are pretty sure that it's taking effect. And then uh, let's print out the type. Type. Last one was n numpy or something. Yeah, type is numpy and the dot array. And also it's showing the image. Okay, the last thing that we want to do is I think we almost done. We could uh, do an image flattening and see how good it looks. So there is uh, this. Uh, option to flatten the image uh, function flatten function to flatten the image so let's go ahead and use a function on image 3 so img flatten equals img 3 dot f l a t t and flatten so I'm calling the function now I have to display it. Let's use this one. IMG flatten um, plt dot show save f5. Has this done any image processing? Let's see. Uh, we got an error. It's huge. Okay, guys, I'll try to fix this error if possible. If not, I think uh, we can't flatten this image and show this. It's sort of uh, uh, I take, it's not for visualization, I think it's for data analysis or image analysis. So if we print, print the type of the image and show. Here, print type img flatten copy paste save f5 so it's still an np array so why am I getting this invalid dimension for image data F L A T T E. So it's actually in. Uh, so I think the problem they say is like it's in two dimension. So we have to convert that into like a single dimension. So it's easy for us to do the image processing. Um, that's the reason we actually flatten uh, the image. So that's what we did over there. So if you want to do like further image processing. Uh, you, you, you using the manipulated data which we did over here we use this technique uh, to flatten the image so it converts that into uh, it converts that into an image that can be processed so let's say if I go ahead and print the shape okay, Save F5. Okay, something is fine. Okay, okay, okay. We are trying to show image. Don't show image. Save F5. Uh, okay, I got this. So it's actually converted that into single dimension. So it's not actually 30 cross 30, it's now 30 cross 30 which is 900 so which has taken it's become from 30 cross 30 to 900 because of the image flattening that we've done 
So we further get to know about like what it actually means in the future tutorial and why we are doing this. Um,